Hi, Lizzie. This video is coming to you from the great country of Canada, our neighbors up north, where I've been locked up for the week, for the past week or so, um, visiting my cousins. So, as you can tell, this isn't very good for filming. This window ledge is literally the only place I can set up my camera, which lights me up like a Christmas tree, and also, I'm going glasses because of glare. Uh... So we're here fairly often, sometimes we come up for Christmas, and then either they come down for a week or we go up for a week during the summer. We're here enough that we don't usually do any touristy stuff, although since it's just been my sisters and I these past two years, we've gone into Toronto at least one day out of the week, and while we were playing Spot, since we were playing Spot the Tourist, I was inspired to make a video on how to be the best and most obvious tourist that you can be while you're on vacation. Um, so... First of all, there's the classic tourist outfit, which consists of a giant shirt, uh, sort of somewhat baggy usually, uh, just to comfort for comfort purposes. Running shorts or cargo shorts of some sort, usually if you're in this, if it's like the summer, or I guess jeans, <laughs> if it's winter, or some sort of like sporty track pants, um, because comfort is your first priority. You're gonna be doing a lot of walking. And that doesn't happen in heels. Uh, and then, usually just sneakers. Or I, I flip-flops. Flip-flops get kind of uncomfortable after a while, though. Sneakers. Um, and then you need your backpack, or your sack pack, because you're going to be getting souvenirs from those shops specifically marketed to tourists, or like little trinkets from obscure Indonesian uh, shops on some random boulevard. Uh, so you need a place to haul all of that, as well as your sunscreen, your... I, why would you need bug spray in a city, but bug spray, uh, everything else that a normal per day person living in the city doesn't need to carry around on a daily basis, you'll need somewhere to put all that. Um, next is the camera. U usually there's always one member of the family with a giant camera strapped around their neck, like some sort of DSLR thing, even if they don't really know how to use it. Um, but, you know, normal, small little camera works too, like the uh, digital point and shoots, or even if you want to be really intense, you can be one of those people who films on iPad. Uh, either works, you just need to be, make it clear that you're documenting this memory. If you're a tour, you're, like, tourists are the only people I've seen taking pictures of things inside, like, shopping malls. Like, there's a fountain, and there were, like, five people standing there taking pictures of it. Um, spot the tour is successful. And, aside from that, you, you're generally spotted, tourists are generally spotted carrying some sort of map, or, like, little thing on their cell phone, or, like, guides to where to go, and are most commonly attracted to places such as monuments, or malls, and tend to be the ones who look really confused standing on street corners while everybody else is moving, or who wait until uh, the signal, like the little traffic signal, is has completely changed to the walking icon before crossing the street. Am I the only person who did that in like New York City and such? Because, I mean, still pedestrians have their right of way, and in cities it seems like they take huge advantage of that. Um, but yeah, I was always like, no, we can't go until the signal changes, even if the cars are, have already stopped. Uh, so yeah, there's your quick guide on how to be a tourist. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you on Tuesday.